so this is gate electrical 2015 question a multiplexer is given to you a boolean function f that is that is written as a product of max terms you can see this function f that is written that is given as a product of max terms is to be implemented by 8 by 1 multiplexer this 8 by 1 multiplexer is given to you you can see these are the select lines this is your 8 by 1 multiplexer so there will be three select line yes or no this is your 8 by 1 max so there are three select line you can see this a is connected to msv this c is connected to lsv okay and this is your multiplexer the input abc are connected to select line s2 s1 s0 respectively okay which of the following options gives the correct inputs to the pins 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 in order so what you can do you can create the truth table you can create the truth table you can create so let's create the truth table for this function so first of all this function that is given to you that is a b c d this function is given to you as a product of max terms as a product of max terms that is 1 5 12 15 yes or no as a product of max terms this function is given to you so tell me from here what it means tell me if you know that function is given as product of max terms this is given as product of max terms so it means function is zero for these combinations yes or no okay yes or no for these combinations so i can say so for these combinations remember for combinations so remember for combinations 1 5 12 15 1 5 12 15 for these combinations okay your function value for these combinations your function value is a function value is 0 else function value is 1 correct else function value will be 1 now what you can do you can just create the truth table okay for this function you can create the truth table but remember on the select line you have three variables a b c so just keep abc okay just create a compact truth table just create a compact truth table okay just create a compact truth table what you can do you can create a compact truth table abc like this okay and this is your function so you can do 0 0 0 tell me when all are 0 what will be the function value this is given to you so you can open it what you can do you can open it it's like max term 1 multiplied by max term 5 multiplied by max term 12 multiplied by max term 15 tell me what is max term 1 let's see what is max term 1 remember this is your function a b c d this is your function this is the order a b c d so what is max term 1 max term 1 means 0 0 0 1 okay so what, what that will be that will be a or b or c or d bar yes or no that will be a or b or c or d bar what will be max term 5 that will be 0 1 0 1 that will be a or b bar or c or d bar what will be max term 12 that will be 1 1 0 0 that will be a bar or b bar or c or d what will be max term 15 that will be a bar or b bar or c bar or d bar okay now you tell me when all are 0 when you put abc equal to 0 what you will get tell me when you put abc equal to 0 when you put abc equal to 0 when you put them 0 then what your function value will be when you put abc equal to 0 in this you put abc equal to 0 what your function value will be just put okay put abc equal to 0 from here you will get d bar yes or no if you put abc equal to 0 from here you will get d bar okay from here you will get one from here you will get one from here you will get one finally you will get d bar you can check it see you can check it very simple remember this function is given to you as a product of max terms you can see so this function is given to you as a product of max terms i can say this f this function f that is equal to max term one and max term five and max term 12 and max term 15 okay now you can see if i put abc equal to 0 what is your function value you can put it in this expression in this expression put abc equal to 0 a0 b0 c0 then you will get d bar so remember when you put a0 b0 c0 then you are basically getting d bar okay you are getting d bar 
now what about if you put 0 0 1 then tell me if you put 0 0 1 let me know if you put a 0 b 0 c 1 then this will be 1 you can see okay then this will be 1 this also will be 1 this also will be 1 okay and this also will be 1 so finally i can say this will be like 1 yes or no so the function value that will be 1 yes or no is this clear please tell me so now you can easily see that some options are gone okay remember very simple point so far what we got so far what we got we got that when a b c are 0 when you put all of them 0 then remember your function value your function value should be d bar okay your function value should be d bar means this connection should be made to d bar you should make it this connection to d bar similarly when you put 0 0 1 then your function value should be 1 this connection should be made to 1 okay the question is asking what inputs you should put on these pins in this order in this order so the answer will start from d bar then 1 start from d bar then go to 1 so the answer will be option b all the options are all the remaining options are gone yes or no all the remaining options are eliminated all the remaining options these are eliminated this option eliminated option eliminated option eliminated please tell me did you understand so you don't have to solve the entire question you do not have to solve the entire question you can easily see that only from this combination you can eliminate the options of course if you want you can solve if you want you can solve the entire question also okay for example tell me if you put okay like for example let me give you this combination 101 for this combination what will be function value tell me what will be function value if you put a1 if you put a1 b0 c1 if you put a1 b0 c1 then remember this will be 1 this will be 1 this will be 1 this will be 1 so i can say for here the function value will be 1 yes or no for 101 remember for this 101 the function value will be 1 so to this 5 you should connect 1 you can see to this 5 you should connect 1 tell me what should we connect to 7 tell me what should we connect to 7 let me know what should we connect to 7 i am asking what should we connect to 7 so when you put a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 then what will happen when you put a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 what will be function value if you put a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 this will become 1 this will become 1 this will become 1 this will become d yes or uh, this will become d bar correct this will become d bar so remember this will become d bar so i can say this connection should be to d bar okay so the you should end with d bar you can easily see so your answer you can see option b that is correct agree with me so like this you can do please tell me did you understand